Hello everyone, welcome to see to draw. In today's video, we are going to make deer in watercolors. But first, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button and press the bell icon next to it so that you cannot miss out on my next video. So without further ado, let's get to the painting. First, I applied a light tone of yellow mixed with water for the other layers of colors to flow on the paper. After that, I started putting the different color tones which are present on the face of the deer in my reference picture. While working on these color tones, I kept the areas of highlights untouched. Then I applied dark tone of colors on the face of the deer because as I mentioned in my previous video, Applying the darks helps you analyze the areas which needed middle tones more easily. Here again adding the darkest colors which are present in the areas like eyes, nose etc. The thing in watercolors is that the more you apply the layers of paint on one another, the more realistic effect your painting will get. Now here, I started working on the little details present on the face of the deer. You can see that though I am using the same paint to add details on different areas of the face, but in the light areas, the details appear much lighter in comparison to the darker ones. As I put my darker tones first, it helps me analyzing the areas which needs to be more darkened. Adjusting the middle tones here and then putting more details over them. Now here I am using glazing to adjust the tonal value in the painting. I mentioned about glazing and how it works in my previous video, so if you guys want to know more, check out that video. You will find the link to it in the cards above. My camera is not doing justice to the real look of this painting, that's why I added some close up of the painting in the starting of the video and will show you some more in the end. I shoot videos using my smartphone and you guys know that smartphones aren't exactly the best when it comes to video recording. So if you want to see my videos much more clearer and realistic looking then do consider supporting me on Patreon as that will slowly help me to upgrade my recording equipment. Now here again applying the dark tones first because watercolors look more darker when you apply them but after drying they become light. So you constantly need to be putting layers on top of one another to adjust the values of color. You also have to carefully leave the highlight areas untouched because they are one of the main things in the painting. Here applying the different colors to adjust the values.
you can see that as I keep on adding layers, I am leaving some areas of the layer below untouched for highlights or making texture above them. Now I started working on its ears. I work in a lot of ways as you can see. Sometimes I put dark layers first, other times I even started applying details just over the first layer and then use glazing to adjust the tonal value. The thing is you have to keep on practicing watercolors in order to find what works best for you and then working on it. I mostly learn watercolors myself by just trial and error because in my time I haven't found much videos which mention about these methods. But now I want to help others that's why I make these videos and give you guys information on different methods of painting in watercolors so you don't have to go through that and you can save your time by knowing which techniques can help you in painting. Again as I mentioned before, here I started adding details in the beginning after just applying the first layer of color and then used glazing to adjust the tonal value. So I hope you guys liked my tutorial demonstration. If you do give this video a like and share and subscribe to my channel to see more amazing watercolor tutorials. Also if you want to support my content or want to learn from me and want to see these video tutorials in real time then join me on my patreon account where you can get such amazing rewards for as little as a dollar per month. The link to my Patreon account as well as my other social medias is in the description below. Thank you for tuning in and I will meet you in my next video. See ya.